Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Immortals of Avium Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So in this episode, we're going to be continuing where we left off, heading back to the Palatin, Palathon? Palathon, to uh, continue with the story, to say that you know we have a way of destroying, I hope you can feel or hear my air quotes, destroying uh, Sandrax Binding Stone. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, I will say, actually before we get too far into it, there are a few updates to our gear. I'm trying out a new blue with Strike Bolt. It's the fastest variant of blue magic. I just want to try something a little bit different. Back to Storm. Storm shards. I think that's. I don't think that's new. Picked up a new legendary totem for the. Uh, what do they call this? For our limpet. Uh, found this while exploring. I did a bit of exploring between um, the last episode and this one, mainly because of our new uh, refract ability. Opened up a lot of new puzzles to do. I didn't do all of them, but I did do a number of them, which saw us getting. A new legendary. This one's this one is just arguably better than uh, Laurent because we don't I don't use corrosive chaos damage very much, and this gives us a nice a nice little boost to our green magic power and a boost to regen shred, which is always great. But that's pretty much that's mainly the main thing that changed. But that does mean I'm on the lookout for legendary gear. Uh, we're at a point in the game where we can start getting more legendary gear, so that is fantastic, and look forward to it. Uh, I do have an idea of like what legendaries we will be running. Vial of the Deep Mirror is this legendary, so I'll probably start upgrading this. Um, I have, like I said, I have an idea of some of the others, so but they'll come later. Anyway, let's head to the where we need to go. Instead of taking the portal, I'm actually going to take uh, whatever you would call this. Because why not? It'll it should spawn us in a different location than the typical portal. Yeah, see, puts us into an area that I don't get to go to very often. Sir, I'm back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. Hmm. That's a good thing, actually, finally having that conversation. But this is a portion of the place that I don't, that I honestly just haven't really gone to very much. And, ooh, I didn't realize there are a few things I can do here. I saw a, there's a refraction crystal, a refraction crystal here. Uh, it's all the way, a bit further, a bit further in. There's another person we can have a conversation with. We won't. I won't do it right now. But I might go ahead and try to get that. Um... Oh wait, where are we? <laughs> okay, here we go. So now I can go this way. Um, what will this even open? I wonder. Okay, what will this even open up here? Oh. Okay, pulls down. Ah, uh, basic chest. Yeah, basic chest, but we'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I guess I had them in the right spots, or they were already in the right spots. You can, I could have animated them and moved them around, but no need, I guess. Let's grab this one real quick, too. I was kind of avoiding this just because I didn't want to... Um, Oh, come on. 
Okay, well, let's see how they're going. Okay, so both of them need to be moved a little bit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think all the way, but that can't be right. Yeah, that can't be right. But let's see. Yeah, that's not gonna. needs to be moved back. I, said, I thought so. Eh, let's see. Another reason I'm doing this is because I kind of figure the talk with Kirkin might be take up the might take up the entirety of this episode, but we'll see. Seriously. Okay, so it needs Okay, I can do it for Oh, you know what? How much one bet? It's, it's um, it'd be the opposite. Yep. Should be good. And then it's like it's like it's one way or the other. I was expecting more. Yeah, I was expecting gold chests, but then again, there aren't any gold che golden chests here. So, all right, I guess that's that's fine. Let's uh, continue on. Just glad I took care of those. All right, let's see what Kirkin has to say here. So. Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. I mean, on a personal level, I do, because there is a lot of classified debt, but yeah. I... This will have to do then. Thank you, sir. Come. Show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrax definitely sailing the Deep Mirror. But his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devin will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a Colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is using my mark. That's the plan. 
Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. Oh, we got a few things. Let's, uh... Look, I know what I said earlier, but you've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. I deserve more than a report you wrote up. Tell me, Jack, if you had a very close friend that you shared a common cause with for the longest time, a vision of what was right and true and good, and they betrayed that vision, betrayed you, how would you feel? Would you want to talk about it? Could you talk about it? If the person you once knew became someone you could never? Yes, absolutely. I'd have to know how it even got to that point. Sandrak and I were companion in hmm. arms for longer than you've been alive. We stood against the Kalthus Estates, the Sea King Usurper, the Colossals of the Arjaman Pretenders, even against Rasharn, his homeland. And then one day, he refused to participate in a mission that could have very well ended the war. What mission? Read the report. And we're back to that. Look, what's important is that Sandrick had orders, and he allowed his own hubris to ignore them. He made a decision that jeopardized the rest of us because he thought he knew better. Ah, uh, yeah. Hubris sure is some bad news. It's terrible. For the breaking of his oaths to the Order, I exiled him back to Rasharn as punishment, thinking his ancestral enemies there would be the death of him. That last part didn't work out. Not even a little bit. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl. Kenzie? She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. Yeah, that was a, a bit of a double entendre there, because you know he did the exact same thing with the Binding Mark. Uh, yeah, let's go speak to Kinsey. Because I want to see what, you know, it's an optional objective, so those are always uh, typically... Initiate. Come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. That. <laughs> On my way. Uh, like I said, before we do that, I do want to go to our quarters. I don't know... Unfortunately, I don't actually know where our quarters are. They're in the, uh... I could go through here, I think. one of those things I have a, a hard time remembering, like where everything is in this game. So that's the vault, at least this one kind of shows you. Barracks East, I don't think we're in Barracks, maybe we are in Barracks East. Yeah, let's check here first. Yeah, this is our, oh, this is west, but this is where we need to be. Because our quarters are down here. Kenzie? Over here, champ. Just a bit, I'm honestly just a bit curious. Curious to see uh, what, I hear something, like what is that? Sounds like a... I don't know. I don't know, but you can hear that, right? Sounds weird. And anyway, what's Kinsey got for us? Did you get lost? No, I just... Never wore Central here, just kind of skews me out. And then someone told me about all those names out there being dead people, and it... The garden area thing, it was nice. Yeah, the names hit me pretty hard, too, when I first got here. I was going to leave, but... Then your boss lady said you were on your way back, and there I am thinking about dead people, and then of course I suddenly can't get Thaddeus out of my head. I'm really sorry. I know you two were close. He was such an asshole. Did he... when you hung out with him, did he talk about me at all? 
I... I really looked up to him. Come on. You know he couldn't not mention you. Really? Really. Oh. What'd he say? Huh? Come on, what'd he say? He said you were, uh, tough. He, he really liked that about you. Tough? Yeah. You, you know, oh resourceful God. and rugged. Could fend for yourself. Oh, so it made it easier for him to leave since I could fend for myself. What? No, no, no. That, that, that's not what I... What he meant. Mm -hmm. uh, that is just really admired that part of you. <laughs> that, that, that's all. The rugged part of me. Oh hey, look. Those are his words, not mine. All right, then. I guess my job's done here. I'll be off. If I can remember... We're heading out to the Deep Mirror tomorrow to beat the hell out of Sandra. You wanna come? The ocean? <laughs> oh, hell no. No one from Oriman knows how to swim. Well, neither does anyone from Saren. We'll both be trailblazers. Also, you're good in a fight. We could use that. I helped you out once. Do it again, and I'm just another pawn of the hegemony. Count me out, soldier boy. Worth a try. Swell digs, by the way. Pretty enlightening seeing how the other half lives. Look now, I grew up in the underbridge. In the slums. I just work here. <laughs> My bad. Totally didn't realize you were keeping it real. <laughs> Bye, Kenzie. And hey, thanks for the assist with finding the Shrine Forge. See ya, hot stuff. <laughs> I'm glad we had that little conversation with her. Uh, the lying didn't go quite how I thought it would. It was kind of funny. Not much left to say, All really. Right. I mean, I kind of, I mean, it would have probably gone similar no matter how, how you did that. But I'm, gl I'm glad we at least said something. All right. All right, now to the war chamber. Oh, that's okay. Back to this area. I still get turned around pretty, pretty badly at times. We have had a conversation, so let's see if there's anything. There are some new stuff. Okay, we have an Immortals Arc Light. I kind of want to use what I've got. Shield Shred's not bad, though. Yeah, I like I like what I got. I'm using a Frag Fire. Oof! Look at that. Power is the same. I prefer the armor shred over additional armor. Anything with green sage? Storm shards. Which is what I've been looking for. Uh, no. I mean, yeah, the torrent damage is nice, but no. Just no. A new barricade ring. Increases our... Sh makes our shield better. And blue sigil reload time is less. No. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. To the war champ. Now, to the war chamber. I've got a hundred oh, no. Alori chasing me. <laughs> Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't. I can't read. <gasps> sure. Just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass. I was still assigned to Lights Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Roshanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. <laughs> call him the turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, Sarah, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? 
I have to make a far call. Are you referring, Initiate, to why I think the Unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay. Enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense why she's so Another. against it, but what's the bird? How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. Do you see it too? You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more fun. Another. Damn it. Another. <laughs> Use your last! Use your last! I know, I know. Another. Jeez. Too much. Oh. Am I dead? Oh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrax moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. <laughs> Morning. Sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I, I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, <laughs> sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> see you soon. Thaven Points. That, I believe, is a new area for us. Yeah, they want us to go to a teleporter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see where that is real quick. But we are, but before we actually go to it, we are gonna wrap things up. I just want to see if it's where I think it is. Yeah, it's in Lucium. I don't see it. So they're not gonna show it right off. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, I can, yeah, there's something, like, right over there. Okay. Well, I do believe that that is what we, we will be doing in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. 
and I will see you all next time.